Aloha mai kako. Happy Saturday from us here in Hawaii. Uh, this is Halal Napua Hala Kuno Kai. My name is Kumu Kanoi. And this is my son, Eames Kalaniakea, and we are so excited to be back again with you for our Saturday hula. Our Saturday hulas, of course, are Ohana Hula Saturday, and it is definitely a family affair. Of course, Ohana means family. I skipped that part. Uh, but it is a family affair. This is my son. Behind the cameras there, we have uh, my husband, Uncle Luke, and he's he's making us look so profesh. So uh, mahalo to my ohana for being here and for you, because you're part of our global hula ohana. Um, we're going to get started in just a little bit, but things that you might need today are an ipu, which is the hollowed out gourd, or something to pretend that you have an ipu, like a jar, a, a, not a jar, a jug, or whatever, water bottle. Um, a pale, something to go underneath, poi balls for later, I'll try not to forget, and um, yeah, just a nice smile. I think that'll help you a lot, all right? So we're going to jump into Hene Hene Ko Aka. We'll do three verses today. One verse is review, two new verses, so lots to learn. Um, yeah, and I believe it's time. my welcome back um Eames did correct me we're not gonna jump right into hene hene ko aka because on saturdays we always start with our prayers and our chants and a little bit of warm-up before we get into the hula so sorry false advertising we are going to do our normal routine which is we will start with our prayers so uh, sorry our chants ku iluna stand on up and we always start with our anthem um this is our our national anthem at one time now it's our state anthem it's called Hawaii Pono'i. Of course, Hawaii is the name of the place where we are. I don't know where you are. Some of you are in Hawaii, not all of you. Pono'i means our own, our very own. So our Hawaii, that's what Hawaii Pono'i means. It is written, of course, by King David Kalakawa on the top. And then Henry Berger did the music. Actually, they did it in opposite order. Music first, then the words. Three verses, although we usually only hear this one, Pauku Ekahi. We're going to do all three Make sure you're standing nice and tall, shoulders back. Palikekua, your back is straight like a cliff. Mahina kiala, your face shines like the moon. Hawaii pono i pa. Hawaii pono i na na i kono i kalani ali i ke. Hey. 
for that. I keep forgetting. I want to get one of those Hawaiian flags. You got to remind me. I think that would be fun to have a nice Hawaiian flag to wave during that one. Okay, next up is our Oli Aloha. Oli, of course, is a chant, and Aloha means love, hello, goodbye, all of those wonderful things. Um, and this chant was written by Kumu Pilahi Paki, who, who you see right here next to me. And uh, Kumu Pilahi Paki spelled out Aloha in each of these lines. So you have A, that's the beginning of this line, L. O-H-A, and it tells you exactly, it's a recipe for success, a recipe for aloha. So before we do the ole aloha, we want to know who we're saying aloha to. So if you haven't already, go ahead and say aloha in the comments. Let's see who's here today. Let's see, starting from the top, the first one to check in was McCoy ML. McCoy, nice to see you. Aloha, no. We have the Langan Ohana joining us from Kalihi Valley, just on the other side of the mountain here. Aloha, Ekiva. Aloha, Ekian. Aloha, Ekat. Chance and John, all of you. Okay. Maike Steenhoff joining us from Holland, Para Maribo, Suriname. Oh, lived in. That's where you were, but you're in Holland now. That's right. Uh, Angelica is in Kelemania. Of course, that's Germany. Our friends in Germany checking in. We also have uh, Yvonne McGreevy joining us from St. Petersburg, Florida. Melanie Romero. Uh, I forget where Melanie is, but um, Ika Ohana Romero. Aloha no. Thank you for being with us. Okay. Oh, Uncle Frank and Auntie Mary joining us from Kalepony, California. And Idile from Schofield right here on this island. Aloha mai kako. Welcome. We're going to do our aloha chant now to greet one another from around the world. Make sure that you address everyone from looking side to side. We're going to start on this side. Turn your head and then look across as we go. Okay. Hands on by your sides. Oli aloha. Pa. Akai na Hawaii, loka hia kulike, olu olu kamana o, ha a ha a kokulana, aho nuyala na kila, aloha. Awesome. Thank you so much. I really felt the aloha. When I looked at you on Olu Olu, I just got that nice, what is it, like chicken skin, knowing that you're all out there doing this with us. So mahalo for that. At this time, we're going to do our prayer. So we noho ilalo. Have a seat. Yeah, goosebumps. That's what it was. I got the little. Ooh, okay, chicken skin. So our next um, one is going to be a pule. It's called the Hawaiian doxology, also known as ho'onani, because that's the first word ho'onani means to praise or to be blessed um and so ho'onani is the the prayer that we do and most people only know the first verse but here in the halal we know two verses one of them is thanks to of course kumu haonani bernardino who unfortunately has passed away um but before she passed she wrote this beautiful second verse because she thought that the doxology was too short so she wrote a second verse called ku no ha'a ha Okay, so here we go. Both verses of the Hawaiian doxology. Ho'onani pa. Ho'onani kamakua mau. Ke keiki me kauhane no. Ke akua mau. Ho'o mai ka ipu. that we are so blessed 
Our next prayer is called E Keakua. And Keakua means God. E Keakua means dear God or oh God. I'm reaching out to you, asking you, begging you, um, pleading. It, and it also says, I'm thanking you. I'm grateful. Mahalo no. Mahalo ya oe no keia la. Thank you for this beautiful, beautiful day. So let's try. E Keakua pa. E ke a kua, e kua, mahalo no, mahalo no, mahalo ya oi, mahalo ya oi, no ke a la, no ke a la, ah mene, ah mene, ah mene. Mahalo for that. And we always say thank you for this beautiful day, even when it's not quite as beautiful as usual. But I know you folks are going to say, oh, it's always beautiful. Today was a little rainy earlier, a little bit of rain on our on our porch, our, our deck out there. Um, but we want to know how the weather is for you. So the question every week we ask the same question. Pehea kianila means how is the weather. So pehea kianila is the question. You try pehea kianila. Go. And the answer, you would say he la blank keia. That's if it's a daytime. You would say the day happy. No, 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 not happy. The, the day windy is. Yeah. He blank. No, he la blank keia means the day is blank. If it's nighttime, then you're going to say he po blank keia. Okay, so it's daytime for us. Let's take a take a look out on our deck. A little bit of rain on the deck, but uh, hey, Eames, yeah. pe he kea ni la. Um, oh, I hela o malu malu keia. We have clouds. They're kind of covering up our sun, but it is still a beautiful day. Hela nani keia. It's a pretty day, but hela o malu malu keia. So go ahead and answer in the comments down below. You can um, put the answer in that blank. So you're gonna say hela ua keia if it's raining, or hela malo if it's kind of dry, or hela vela. Oh, it's a hot one. Or maybe it's a nighttime for you. So hepo iki ki keia means it's a muggy night. Um, or hepo ino keia, it is a stormy night. So pehea kianila, go ahead and put it down in the comments below. We hope that it's a beautiful day wherever you are. All right. Or night. Or night. That's right. Uh, we're going to continue on with our prayers and chants. This next one is a chant called Ealae. It was written by Kumu Puolani Kanahele Kanaka Ole, and it helps to rise up the sun. We're going to do a little bit of a beat or a pa'i with our hands. You're going to start with your hands cupped together in a upoho or kapi sound. And then we get a pa'i, which is a flat clap sound. Okay, so the pattern is upoho, upoho, pa'i join us, upoho, upoho, pa'i e ala e. E ala e kala i ka hikina i ka moana, ka moana ho ho nu, pi i ka leva, ka leva nu u, i ka hikina aya kala. E ala e, and stop right there. Good. If you have someone else with you, maybe your your mom or dad or uh, maybe your husband or a wife or I don't know, your neighbor, you can turn to them. And you can do the same thing in a partner. So make upoho. You each have to do one cup. And then you can do pa'i. It's going to be flat. Okay, so here we go. Here's the pattern. Upoho, upoho, pa'i. Upoho, upoho, e ala e go. E ala e kala i ka hikina i ka moana ka moana ho nu pi i ka leva ka leva nu u i ka hikina ai a kala e ala e very good oh sorry what <laughs> um you can also we always do it three times let's make one even harder let's go like this we're gonna cross and then we're gonna open. And then we're going to putty to ourselves, okay? okay? So cross, cross, uh, cross, open, clap. Okay, ready? Good luck. Sorry if I smack you in the face. Ready, set, here we go. E ala e chan. Kala i kahikina. 
i ka mo ana ka mo ana ho ho nu p i ka leva ka leva nu u i ka hiki na ai ka la e a la e i almost upohod myself in the face i don't know why but good job <laughs> All right, we will turn back to you to do our last prayer before we get into our ipu beats. Uh, this one is called Eho Mai, and this one um, helps us to focus ourselves. It's almost like a mantra. Repeat after me, Eho Mai. And that is the mantra. Eho Mai means to grant us, to give us, to receive, um, or to ask for something. So Eho Mai has all of those meanings because we want to prepare ourselves to learn knowledge about the songs that we're about to learn um, and just learn in general about, about the world, okay? So this is Eho Mai. We're going to repeat the whole thing through three times each time modulating. Okay, here we go. Eho Mai. Eho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na me a huna no e a o na mele eho mai eho mai eho mai eho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na me a huna no e a o na Okay, at this time, we're going to continue on to work with our ipu, or the hollowed out gourds that helps us have our beats um, for our, our steps. So go ahead and grab your ipu. Make sure you have a pale or something to protect it underneath. My ipu is right here. I, I love when people give their ipu a name. So my ipu's name, for those of you that don't know, haven't met her yet, this is Hina. Hina is the name of a goddess um, of the moon, um, but Hina literally also means to lie down or to topple over because check out my ipu this poor girl watch Meow. she can't stand up straight she has sort of a, a lean 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 for her yeah what is yours yep cool yeah his his stands up nice and tall Okay, so for our ipu, uh, we have a song that talks about how to make the ipu. It's called Mele Ipu Heke Ole, which just means the song about the ipu with no top. She's topless. <laughs> <laughs> she has no head. Um, you might have seen other ipu before that have the double gourd, and that's called the ipu heke or the ipu with the top gourd. This one is the heke ole, no more the top gourd. And so that is what we're going to do today. We're going to first chop off her head. Then we're going to scoop out her guts. I have to stop saying her if we scoop it out. Okay. And then we're going to sand it. And then the next step is to dip it into the ocean so that the salty water will keep the bugs out. Okay. So I got to go do that for some of our ipu. Maybe you got some bugs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Hanava wika ipu heke ole pa. Hanava wika ipu heke ole. You're going to say Ika ipu. Heke ole, thank you. Hana wau ika ipu heke ole. Ika papa hana no eo hana ho. Hana ho ika ipu heke ole. Ika ipu heke ole. Hana wau ika ipu heke ole. Ika papa hana no eo. Now our ipu is ready to play, so we will practice all of the beats. There are four main types of beats that we will cover in this basic hula class. The first one is actually not a beat. It's more of an ornamentation. You're going to take your right hand on the side of the ipu, just like this, and you're going to rattle it side to side. Now you're not going to flip your hands over too much. We're not trying to brush like this or whatever. Okay, just side to side, very slight. 
that gives that nice rattling sound. That is called the ka eke loloi. Can you say that? Ka eke loloi. That's that rattling sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rattling sound, not the shake of the rattle. Okay, the next one is called the pa, and it is a combination of oo, hit your ipu on the ground gently, let's say tap it, and then on the side with your hands one time. Okay, so we're gonna do a oo, te, oo, te, four times. Ready, go. A one, a two, a three, and four. So that was the paw beat four times. The next one is called the kahela. Kahela is a double beat, so you're going to get a ute te. Let's try that four times. Ready, set, here we go. E kahi, e lua, e kolu, e ha. And stop. Very good. I, I counted in Hawaiian that time. Did I trick you? Okay, the last one is the ku ku beat. And this one you're going to hit on the ground three times. And then you get the te te with your hands. Now, the kaekiloloi that we talked about at the top is perfect for any time you're doing the oo. So when we get three oo's in a row, that's a perfect prime time to use your kaekiloloi. It looks like this. Or you could do more. You could do more, but well, this is a beginning hula class. Come on. You gotta take it easy on them. Okay, yeah. so let's try kaekiloloi on the kuku triple B. Ready, set, here we go. And two, and three, one more, and four, and stop. How was that? Good? Uh -huh. Easy. Okay, <laughs> let's make some patterns. Make a pattern. Make a pattern. Okay, so the pattern is going to be simple to start with. We're going to do pa, kahela, pa, kahela. So we get ute, ute, te, ute, ute, te. Let's try it. Set. Here we go. Good. The next one is going to be flipped. So we're going to go. Also known as kahela pa. Kahela pa. Are you ready? Ready? Set. Here we go. Very good. Now, the next pattern, we're going to go down the line. Pa, kahela, kuku. Pa, kahela, kuku. Okay? Let's try it. Ready, set. Here we go. A pa, kahela, and kuku. Pa, kahela, kuku. Okay, that one was a little bit longer. We're going to make this next one even harder. We're going to start in the middle. We're going to go kahela, 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 pa, and then pa, kahela, kuku. Can? Ready, set. Here we go. Kahela, 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 and a pa, a pa, kahela, kuku. Ah, too easy, too easy. Okay, let's make a really hard one. It's, uh, oh, sorry, I lied. One more. Okay, here we go. This one is going to be hard. This one is to try and trick the advanced students. No, just kidding. Okay, so we're going to start with a sandwich. We're going to go kahela, pa, pa, kahela. Okay, then we're gonna flip the sandwich inside out. We go pa, kahela, kahela, pa. Okay, then we're gonna get kahela, 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 pa. Three kahelas, one pa. And then we end with pa, kahela, kuku. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Okay, ready? Okay. Starting with kahela, pa, pa, kahela, pa, kahela, kahela, pa, kahela, 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 pa, pa, kahela, kuku. Got it. Got it. Okay, ready? Okay. You like it? You do it. You got it. <laughs> Let's do it. Ready, set, here we go. Kahela and a pa. A pa. Kahela. Pa. Kahela. Kahela and a pa. Kahela. Kahela. Kahela and a pa. A pa. Kahela. Kuku. Hey, you did get it. I'm fired. Just let him <laughs> run the class already. Okay, at this time, you can put your ipu and pale away, unless you're me, because you're going to stand up and do some basic hula moves. I'm going to scoot my book back so that you can see us both. We really should have cut to a different angle for that move. Okay, so uh, here is Eames. He's going to be doing our basic steps for you. Uh, please dance with him. Unless you're practicing your ipu beats, I guess you could, you could stick with me.
Okay, so uh, for our basic steps, we mostly have our hands on our waist. So make sure your hands are on your waist with your thumbs to the back, fingers <laughs> to the front. For now, we're going to keep our hands on our waist for, for all the stuff, okay? And uh, feet are slightly apart, toes pointed directly forward with a small space, not a sumo space between your feet, but just a small little space in between. Uh, the first step that we're going to do, of course, is the ka'o. So bend your knees slightly, and we're going to just... Sway our hips side to side, ka'o. Right, left, right, left, right, left, and stop. I'm gonna ask Eames to actually mirror you. So when he goes this way, when he goes this way, that's gonna be your right, okay? So we will mirror you for this class, ready? And ka'o, ka'o, right, left, right, left. There you go, right, left, right, and stop. Very good. You will notice that Eames' feet are totally touching the ground, just like I'm sure yours are. Your feet are totally touching the ground and they're not pedaling. Um, there is a style of hula where you will pedal the heels, but our style is very flat footed. So try one more time trying to keep your whole foot touching the ground. Bend your knees. Ready? Ka'o. Sway right, left, right, and left. Very good. Right, left, right left right left and stop the next step is the one of the most basic in the hula it's called the ka holo the ka holo of course is four beats you're gonna go step together step tap to the right and then to the left step together step tap are we ready bend your knees ka holo to the right and left very good holo step together step tap step together step Tap, step together, step, tap, and stop. That's it, that's it. The next step that we're gonna do is called the Kavelu. Now the Kavelu is a hip thrust. Your right foot is gonna go forward first and your hip is gonna stick out to the side, right there. Then you're gonna bring your feet back together. Yep, then the left foot is gonna go towards the back and stick that hip out to the opposite side and then come back together that's it if you want to give me a little extra stick that's fine ready <laughs> Kavelu forward and back Kavelu together left foot back together right foot forward together left foot back together forward together and sorry about that it sounded like I was gonna stop and then I kept going. Okay, <laughs> the next step is a kind of a variation of this Kavelu. Kavelu turning to the side is gonna be called the O. O? O, yes. Oh. So face to the side, put your weight on the foot that's away from the camera and then the other foot is gonna be the one to move. So for the audience, that's your right foot that's moving. Eames, you know which foot it is. Okay, ready? You're gonna go side to side. This side first, go. O right, turn other side. O left, turn. O right, turn. O left, hello, turn. That's it. Okay, so the O is going side to side. Now let's do a little combination. We're going to go side, side, front, back. So that's an O, an O, Cavelo Imua, Cavelo, Cavelo Hope. Good thing. I'm not dancing. Ready, go to the side, other side. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Only one on each side. Ready, here we go. Side and turn, side and forward. Oh, sorry, sorry. Just one of each, just one of each. Sorry. Ready, go. Side and turn, side, go forward. Forward and then repeat the whole thing. Side and turn, side and turn, forward and then back. That's it. Now you're gonna use this combination over and over in our hula, so I just wanna make sure that you got that. The last thing that I want you to practice is your ummi, and I'm gonna actually stand for this so that I can do it with you. Now the ummi is a hip circle. Uh, for this one, it is helpful to put your hands up. So let's start with your hands on your waist, and we're gonna put our right hand up across our chest. Sorry. Our our left, but you're right. Okay, so we're doing the 
Yeah. Make sure that your thumbs are not hanging down. We don't want any uh, shark fin skegs hanging down. Make sure you lift it up. And you're going to look over your right shoulder. Bend your knees down slightly and push your hip out towards the left side, opposite of your, opposite of your elbow. Okay? Then for the ummy, you're going to push towards the back first. So push towards the, your back and then meeting up with the elbow and then back to the side. Now, so your ummy is not a full circle. You do the back and then you kind of skip the front because here's what it looks like if you do the front. <laughs> okay. For some reason, I just know that that's going to be the thumbnail video. It's me going like this. Okay. Okay. No, please don't do that, babe. Okay. <laughs> Right elbow up, bend your knee slightly, hip out to the left to start. I'm going to push to the back first. Ready, set, here we go. Ami, one, two, three, and stop. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to do eight on this side, then we're going to switch. We'll do eight on this side. Where are you? Oh, yeah, you're going to go back first. So we're going to do eight on the right, and then switch eight on the left. Then we're going to cut it in half. What's half of eight? We're going to do four on the right and then four on the left. What's half of four? Two. Two. You're going to go two on the right, two on the left. What's half of two? One. One, one. Okay, so not fast, half though. One. We're, there's no such thing as half an ummy. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Eight ummies. Put your hip out to the left side. Push towards the back. Ready, set. Here we go. That's one to the right. Two, three, and four. Five and six and seven. Switch to the left. Here we go. A one. A um, me two. Three and four. A um, me five. Six. Seven. Switch to the right. Four times. A one and two. A um, me three. Switch to the left. Here we go. It's a one and two. And three. Switch to the right. Here we go. A one and two. Switch left and left and then a one and a two okay something like that anyways so you can practice your ummies like that for this hula <laughs> for this hula we're only going to do two on the right and then two on the left so that is what you're going to need to know for our hula which is coming up right now okay so <laughs> this is hene hene ko aka um we started it last week and um it talks about the streetcar. So let's remind you about the streetcars a little bit. What did those streetcars look like? Maybe we can show them. Oh, this is, the, yeah, that's what. The streetcars are here, and these were um, a form of mass transit. You'll see on there, it says HRT. That was the Honolulu Rapid Transit because it was the fastest way to get from here to there. So you'll see the, um, the operators of the streetcars. That was a very... Uh, high-ranking job you know they were you know like our, our bus drivers now they were like oh they help us get around so they're very important so these are the streetcars now I wanted to point out the fact that here in Hawaii we take pleasure in the little things not just the big things like oh wow I went to the water park or I went to Disneyland but actually the things that we um, so cherish are the journey how did we get there? What mode of transportation brought us to that place or that destination that we're going? So it's all about enjoying the journey. I wanted to give you a little bit of a history on transportation here in Hawaii. So you will see all the way over here in 400, in the year 400, uh, that is when the first Polynesians ish I, I can't say it was exactly 400 but around the year 400 the first polynesians came to hawaii on the va'a what is a va'a have you ever heard a va'a is a canoe so right over here in the year 400 we had um the first polynesians coming to hawaii via va'a okay then they lived here they rocked this place. They built civilizations and grew their population, and they just had this thriving, um, you know, uh, not metropolis, what would you call it? A, a thriving community here uh, across the islands, and they traveled between the islands too with their, their va'a. Then in 1778, that is when there was the first uh, European con 
contact here in Hawaii. So we had large ships. Of course, that was Captain Cook that came in, not to Oahu, but to Kealakekua Harbor. And that was the first time that the Hawaiians saw ships quite like that. Okay, so those sailing ships, that was in the 1700s. So meanwhile, they had built these wonderful communities. But this is when the first European contact came. Shortly after that, well, you can't see the date. In 1803, that was when the first horse, or Leo, came to Hawaii. And um, there was a demonstration of riders on horseback. And uh, the Hawaiians saw that and thought, hey, that looks pretty cool. I think I can learn how to do that. And if you have been with us for a few months, you know that they not only learned how to raise horses, but they sure learned how to ride them, not just for transportation, but also for show. Um, some of our paniolo from Hawaii went to the U.S. mainland and entered a rodeo and took top honors. They showed those uh, mainlanders, yeah, Ikua, Purdy, they showed them how it was done. So uh, 1800s, around then, was when we had our first horses. And soon after that, um, we also uh, started to have, oh, which way am I going? Right here. This one right here, we had our uh, first locomotives, so the trains. These were originally not so much for transportation of people, but transportation of goods, of course, um, taking our crops, sugar crops, back and forth. So in 1881 was when we first had that. A few years after that, in 1888, we decided to hook up the horse to the buggy, and we had the horse-drawn buggies. There was actually huge fleets of these mule drawn mostly not horses but mule drawn um car services here in hawaii so you could not hail a taxi but you could hail a mule car um to take you where you wanted to go can you see those dates no you can't really see that 1888 was the date for that one 1888 um, was when we had those mule drawn carriages and then it was not until around 1900 in the year 1900 was when we had these streetcars that we're talking about in our hula today. Now, uh, around 1900s was when they started. They didn't last too long. They maybe lasted about 20 years of, of having the streetcars. But after that, there was a fleet of what they called, I think they called it the silver bullet. And it was these silver electric uh, buses that they had and that was like all the rage and then they decided ah, oh, get rid of the streetcar we don't need that anymore and now fast forward to now we're still trying to work on our rapid transit let's not even get talking about that the rail is a pfft. anyways <laughs> so that was our transportation here and you know there are hula and mele written about every single one of those types of transportation because hawaiians just so enjoyed the journey so our hula that we're learning today is Hene Hene Ko Aka, and it talks about the first time that this couple rode a streetcar together. Now, the, the, the boy had ridden a streetcar once or twice before, but the girl, it was her very, very first time. So when they fired up that engine, she kind of got, ooh, pu'iva, she got a little bit surprised. And, you know, he put her his arm around her and said, don't worry, I'll take care of you. She didn't like that, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's review verse number one of Hene Hene Ko Aka. The boy is telling the girl, oh, I just love your smile and your laughter. Let's go for a ride. So it starts off with a holo to the right. You're going to move towards the right, but your left hand is actually extended. This is your vamp. You're going to go side and front. And then you're going to switch it side and front. That's your vamp, just the break in between, okay? Then hene hene ko aka, you're going to go from your lips and you're going to bring your hand out to the right side. Hene hene, then left hand out. Ko aka, and you're so happy. Ko le a le a pa ha. Of course, le a le a means to have fun or to, to be happy. Ko le a le a pa ha, flip the palms from in to out. Let's try that one more time. I love your laugh. Hene, hene, ready, go. Hene, hene, ko, a, ka, to your cheeks. Ko, le, a, le, a, pa, ha. That's it. Now, those two lines at the beginning, those are the unique lines. The third and fourth lines that you see coming up, we're going to get those in every single one of the verses. So learn them right or pay the price. Just kidding. Hands on the waist. Your right hand is going to go from the center. He, me, a, ma, a, mo, then left hand from the center 
E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-
Yeah, 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 neko. <laughs> yeah. So um, the Ka'awila Makeneki is the car that uses electricity, but it's actually not electric, but it's powered. Car powered mechanical. Car powered mechanical. Yeah, that sounds dumb. Okay. Ka'awila Makeneki. Okay, so this, this car, we're going to make sort of the gears. Yeah, it's not a train, but that was their best <laughs> reference at the time. Okay, so we're going to go with the right fist first. It's going to go right, left, right, and then it's going to go left, right, left. Okay, it's a little bit of a bumpy ride on this ka'a. It, it wasn't smooth. In fact, when the buses finally started, the thing they said was great about the, um, the buses was that they had weight distribution and that they had air-powered brakes and that they had very courteous drivers. <laughs> so my only assumption is, well, the streetcars probably did not have good weight distribution. You're going da -da 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 all over the place. <laughs> they did not have air-powered brakes. They had, <laughs> and you just kind of, okay, this is my stop. And I guess the drivers must have been jerks. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> so let's take a ride. We're going to go to the right with a kaholo towards the right. Let's move back a little bit so that they can see us. Kaholo to the right, go. Kawila makeneki. Okay, now I told you it's a bumpy ride, right? So we're gonna do a little bit of a dip in our. Yes, not too much, a little dip, okay? We're trying to make it hula, not like real life. Ready, set, here we go. Kawila makeneki. A little dip. Okay, ready? Okay. Well, my legs are longer than yours, so my little dip will be bigger than your little dip. Ready, set, here we go. Kawila makeneki. Now, oni oni ho oni oni kokino means it jiggles my body. Now, try not to jiggle everything. We're just gonna jiggle the hips in an ami to the right. Ho oni oni switch to the left. Kokino. And then on the second ami, you gotta get ready to turn because we already know this part. Heme ama ama forward. For you and I. Does that look familiar? Let's try the whole thing. Da 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 that's it. Now, I want to show you the vavai cam really quickly so that I can show you what happens on that ami. So for the ami, you're going to ami to the right, ami, ami, switch sides, and then you're going to go ami and turn the foot. Did you see what happened there? That left foot just pivoted on the heel. Yeah, so you're going to go ami and turn so that you can do your kavelu. I mean your o, okay? So let's try the ami right and left. Ready, set. Here we go, Ami, right, right, switch, left, left, and step for you and, oh, no, no, that, that's, that, that's not the words right there. Okay, so let's try, Kawila Makeneki, come back to the main camera, ready, set, here we go. Kawila Makeneki, ho oni oni ko kino. Heme ama ama ia forward for you and I. That's it. Okay, let's try the second verse. I think we can try it about four times. I know it's kind of weird, but Kawila, go. Kawila ma keneki oni oni koki no. Heme ama ama ia. Okay, you guys sing. Kawila. Kawila makeneki Oni oni kokino Eme ama oma uia Oni uena Okay, one more time. Actually, two more times. Kawila. Kawila makeneki Ami, move the body. Jiggle, jiggle. Oni oni kokino Eme ama oma uia what a way to go on a date. My body is jiggling. Kawila, one more time. Drive. 
One more verse, because it's only two verse, two lines, and then we're gonna jam it. Okay, Kakaako is our first destination, and Kakaako is just down the valley here from where we uh, live, straight down towards the harbor, actually. Um, and Kakaako literally means dull or slow. Yes? Question? We are going to Kakaako. You should check out our Instagram um, a little bit later today because we are going on a field trip based on this verse. Kaka'ako was the destination to go for these people on the streetcar and not because there was something ho wow lao lao, there was something ho wow beef stew over there. They went to their auntie's house and she was famous for beef stew. So we're gonna do a Kaka'ako beef stew throwdown challenge later today. We'll let you know how that goes. We're actually gonna be comparing beef stew from Highway Inn versus beef stew from Asahi Grill. I don't know if you've eaten at those places, but let us know which one you think will win. Uh, <laughs> he's voting for Highway Inn. Anyways, it says, we will go to Kaka'ako and eat beef stew. Doesn't sound like something amazing to write a song about, but for them, the stew was that good. Okay, so Ikaka'ako Mako, this, is, uh, this area is kind of not too much fancy about it, okay? So all we're gonna do is, you're gonna make one hand. Ikaka ako mako. You're gonna go us. Mako means us. Okay, so ikaka ako mako. Then your left hand is gonna make the paw, the um, plate, and your right hand is gonna take two finger poi, because you always gotta eat stew with poi, right? Or rice. Okay, you're gonna make that, and then you're gonna eat. <laughs> Ayana ika pipi stew. Then you're gonna turn to the side. You already know this. You already know for you and I. Okay, so let's try just the hands. Go to kakaako. It's not very fancy. It just looks like this. And we eat. Ayana ika beef stew. Pipi stew is beef stew. And then we turn to the side. For you and I. Okay, let's add the kaholo to the right. Ready, set, here we go. Ikaka ako mako. Ayana ika pipi stu. Ooh, stu. Ooh. Hey, me am um, sorry. Ia for you and I. Only simple, yeah, but delicious. Okay, let's try. Ikaka ako mako. Hello. Ikaka ako place motion. Ikaka ako we go. Eating all the beef stew. This is what we do for you and I. Here we go. You guys sing. Ikaka ako. Ikaka ako mako. Yum yum. This is how we do it. Ikaka one more time. Yum yum. That's it. All right. Before we go today, I wanted to give you a little bit of homework. Homework, okay? So every verse that we do from now on, from Kaka'ako going on, is going to be about a different place. So I want you to start thinking about a place that you would like to visit. It doesn't have to be an amazing place, just a place that you go all the time. Maybe it's your mom's house, or maybe it's the place that you like to go eat dinner with your friends. Um, so you're going to write your own verse, and my kumu, Kiave Lopes, would do something called kuapo a kuapo. Kuapo means to swap, okay? So it's kind of a mix and match writing of a song. So you're going to do E, the letter I, place. So you're going to put the name of the place. E punoho, 
mako. So ipunoho mako would be the first line. Then the action or the verb that you want to do to an object. For example, in kakaako, we eat the beef stew, right? So whatever you want the action to be, and then whatever you want the object to be. If you need any help translating, you can always go to vehevehe.org, which is the online Hawaiian dictionary, or you can just leave a comment below and I can help you to translate it very, very simply, um, not make it too complicated, okay? So if you were gonna do ipunoho mako, what is the action that you wanna do to the thing? Play. Play? Okay, pa'ani, he said with, so, it would be actually me na ho instead of okay. Ipunoho mako pa ani me na ho wa he me ama ama wea for you and I. Yeah, you don't play on the friends. I hope. Just kidding. Okay, so I want you to make your own verse, and we have lots of instrumental versions um, in this song, so maybe we'll throw in some of your verses. If you want to type them into the comments right now or you want to go do your homework and, and send me those verses later, we would love to feature your pauku from around the world. We already have one submission from our extra credit um, Keiki Kokua. So we have a punaho verse. If you want to do another punaho verse, you may, but you want to do one about your home or a place that you love to visit, go ahead and do that. And I would love to help you with that. So let me know if you have any problems. E place ma ko, that's where we're going to go. Action e ka object, what we're going to do to the thing. He me ama ama that's just what we do. That's our regular shtick for you and I when we're together. Okay? So you got homework. Make sure to do your homework. I'm going to be checking next week. We'll sh hopefully share a few of your <laughs> homeworks next week, okay? All right. At this time to finish up, we're going to grab our poi balls and give it a swing. Poi balls, of course, do not come from Hawaii. They are from Aotearoa, New Zealand. Uh, great for practicing hand-eye coordination or realizing that you have none. No hand-eye coordination. Okay. Here's hoki hoki. If you don't have koi balls, you can just wave your hands in the air or something. I don't know. And our guest artist. If you're doing the two hand, make sure that you stack on top of each other. My cakey love to put their hands side by side, but then the balls hit each other. So and then they will not hit. If you're gonna do the um, one hand, I don't know if you can see this too well, but you're gonna stick out your pinky, and the pinky is gonna grab, and then you're gonna twist like that. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and slow that down a little bit. Here's my pinky, and the pinky grab, and then you twist. Okay, thank you so much for joining us today for Hula, for our Ohana Hula Saturday. Hope you had fun going on a streetcar ride with us to Kaka'ako. Let us know what you think about beef stew. Where do you know that has the best beef stew? And if you have a great recipe, let me know because maybe I'll try making some beef stew. Shall we try it? No. Not today, but maybe after we do some research. Okay, so... Check out our Instagram later for our <laughs> Throwdown Highway Inverse Asahi Grill Kaka Ako Beef Stew with our friends, Ray and Carmela. Okay, so we will see you folks next time. Ch check us out on Tuesdays um, and Saturdays right back here for Hula. Okay? Ahui ho!